So any kind of intelligence that you can identify right now is opening intelligence. When you stop thinking for a moment, then you give yourself space to identify the intelligence by which everything is known. So everything is quite a lot. So this intelligence is vast, it's huge, encompassing everything, everything you've ever experienced, every thought you've ever had, every physical sensation, every emotion that you've felt, every description that you've ever become aware of. All of this was known by exactly the same intelligence. And in the balance view we call this open or opening intelligence. And I love this term opening intelligence. It's like this inexhaustible flower continually opening. More and more this flow of data, this stream of data. So all of these descriptions we can just simplify it and call it all data. All of it just streaming forth from this opening intelligence. Really simple model for understanding our own experience, for understanding the nature of reality. This allows us to describe and to talk about anything. We bring it right down to, right down to its essence. And so the first step is to identify this intelligence within ourselves. And that instruction just to stop thinking allows us that opportunity. Now the thoughts come back immediately. So we're not trying to stop the thoughts, that would be really difficult. But the simple practice of taking short moments of identifying and then relying on this opening intelligence whenever you naturally remember will show you that this same intelligence you identified when you stopped thinking is also the essence of all of your thoughts. Without this intelligence you, you wouldn't know any of your thoughts. You wouldn't know any of your experiences. You wouldn't know anything that was going on in your body. So what we're seeing here is, well, what is the actual nature of reality? We've been told all kinds of things about who we are and what reality is, what our identity is, but what is the actual nature of it? And with a simple tool like short moments repeated many times, you can find out for yourself the nature of reality, the nature of your intelligence. Is your intelligence always naturally present? Is your intelligence always the basis of your experience? Again, you can check out for yourself and see whether this is the case or not. You take short moments throughout your day amidst the flow of data. So you can take a short moment when the concerns about what's going on with your body arise. When all of that flow of descriptions naturally shines forth. There's your opportunity to see whether open intelligence is the basis and the source of these descriptions too. So immediately there's some benefit in something like a pain in the stomach or an irritation on the skin. Immediately there, we can begin to see that there's something beneficial. Because even these things are giving me the opportunity to rely on and to see whether open intelligence is naturally present. So for me, that was incredible. I began to see that even in these things that I'd labelled as completely negative, or what, what could possibly be beneficial about having a pain in my stomach, I began to see that these were also pointing me back to the essential nature of reality. So this was the first glimpse as to the beneficial nature of all of my data. But then even more specifically with, with pain in the body and with discomfort, physical discomfort, when I actually began to <coughs> rely on short moments and the rest of the mainstays, then I saw that there was this relief there that hadn't been recognized before. So previously if there was a pain in the body, some discomfort, then what I had done would be to focus in on it, describe it, try and work it out, what's the cause of it, 
Why is it there? What do I need to do to get rid of it? And this whole world of descriptions just spinning out. And there would be this tension around this whole process. And maybe I've got cancer of the bowel, you know, I'm, God, I'm dying, I'm, oh, you know, I'll probably be dead tomorrow. And, you know, all this just spinning off into these worlds of description. And instead, by recognizing that all of these descriptions are inseparable from open intelligence, like the rays of the sun are inseparable from the sun, immediately there's a sense of relief and a sense of perspective on everything that's going on. So there's the next stage of the benefit. I feel more at ease with whatever is going on, even the things that I've described as negative. even more benefit. Because when I'm at ease, when I'm no longer completely caught up in all of the stories about what's going on, then I can see clearly. I can think more clearly. I be can begin to make really clear, beneficial decisions about what I'm going to do in each situation. So with the pain in my stomach, what am I going to do about it? Do I need to go and see a doctor? Do I need to go and have tests done? Or do I just need to chill out for a moment and stop getting so worked up about nothing? And all of those options are included. Of course they are. They're all included with the same, within the same vast opening intelligence. So there's an ease about the decision making. Deeply seeing that whatever happens, my fundamental security, my fundamental stability will always be found in open intelligence because all of the data are continually changing. There's the pain in my stomach, now it's gone. Now I'm thinking about the irritation on my, on my skin, and now I'm looking at the, the person that I'm really attracted to on the other side of the room. Just continually changing this whole flow of data. Now, when I'm, when I'm trying to make something out of all of these descriptions, then it's a constant struggle to continually build this world of fantasy. Because I focus in on one or two of the descriptions and I decide these are the ones that actually have meaning, so I'm going to base all of the rest of the descriptions on these. And one of the descriptions that we often base reality on is us as, a, as an isolated, separate individual that's generating our own world. Now, the insight of recognizing that not only is the body a datum that arises within this vast scope of open intelligence, but also the sense of I, the sense of being an individual, is also a datum that arises within this vast scope of open intelligence gives us a completely different perspective on this. It's not a datum that we then have to build the rest of our world upon. We have a clear context for all of the descriptions. So the description of myself as being a separate, isolated individual is contained within this vast expanse. Also the description of there's nobody here both equally contained within this vast opening intelligence. So there's no need to make a big deal about any of these. Open intelligence includes all of these descriptions equally. They all shine forth equally. So there's no need to adopt any fixed position to try and make something out of any particular description. We can enjoy them all as they just flow on by. That's how we become clear on the nature of reality. That's how we become able to make beneficial decisions and to see powerful solutions in, in any situation. Because we have the context for all descriptions, for all experience. The shift is really one away from making ourselves a victim to these ever-changing descriptions to seeing that we are the stable, clear masters of all of these descriptions. And for me, this shift came about through the mainstays, through immersing myself in the four mainstays. It didn't come about by talking about open intelligence. 
it came about by putting into practice the suggestions that I came across in the training. Short moments repeated many times until it becomes continuous. Until the recognition of open intelligence is so obvious that you don't need to check anymore. You keep checking, you keep checking, and you keep checking until you're sure. Until you know that whatever you're experiencing is a datum shining forth from open intelligence. Now with some descriptions, like that of the body, we've been focusing in on them and emphasizing them for so long, it takes a little while for that emphasis just to settle down. And this is why the support is so powerful and so essential. We're so convinced that our identity is our body somehow. That even after the introduction, these descriptive frameworks still seem to hold this power. Now instead, when we deeply recognize that all descriptions shine forth effortlessly in exactly the same way, including that of the body, including that of the individual identity and personality, then there's a great ease around all descriptions. <coughs> We're able to face everything from this place of complete openness, complete clear seeing, not having to avoid anything, extracting the power of benefit from all of our data. So my experience now, rather than being one where life seemed a huge struggle, a huge challenge, everything seemed really difficult. Sometimes I was happy and sometimes I was sad and there was this huge struggle to try and bring about the happiness and get rid of the sadness. Now there's this sense of ease, this sense of potency. And everything is recognized to be nothing other than this seamless flow of pure benefit. But for me that came about gradually in these incremental steps of first of all recognizing the benefit that all data was pointing me back to open intelligence and then recognizing the benefit personally and then going beyond any personal data to say well actually my intelligence is this completely networked intelligence it's the intelligence of the universe, the intelligence of nature this is what we all share we've never been able to separate ourselves out from this in the same way that you can't separate yourself out from space. Nothing you do, no matter what thoughts you have or how you feel or where you go, whether you're alive or dead, you'll still be included within this vast expanse of space. And this is exactly the same with this vast opening intelligence. Nothing you do, nothing you say, nothing you think or feel can ever separate you out from this ground of everything. And this is what you're getting to know about yourself in a very personal and direct way with all of your own data. It has to start there because these are the descriptions that we think have this power over us, that we have been told define us and limit us. And instead to discover that there is nothing that limits us. Our intelligence is vast like a cloudless sky including everything, encompassing everything, subsuming everything within this beneficial spread of complete potency and power. And at the beginning to tap into this, to touch in with it one short moment at a time is the way that you will discover this for yourself. You don't have to believe anybody else's experience. It has to be your own direct experience. Now I'd had glimpses of this before I came to this training but they were very fleeting and very far between and my life became a search for these little glimpses of, of something magical, of something sublime, of something beyond my everyday reality and they were so powerful and so convincing that I knew there was something more than I was being told but when I came to this training and I discovered that there was an educational program that could educate me in the power and potency of my own intelligence and allow me to integrate this instinctive recognition into my everyday life then I, at first I literally couldn't believe it. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I didn't recognize it for what it was. 
But the more I tested it out, the more I hung around the mainstays, the more trainings I participated in, the more I was around other people also committed to living their lives in this way, then I began to see what was possible for me. I began to take more short moments in a really gentle, natural, organic way. Everybody else around was reminding me to do it just by their demonstration. And I began to see that the incredible offering here, because I began to see the benefits more and more obviously in my life. That's how I knew how incredible it was. And then I looked around and I saw the way that people here were relating to each other. And again, when I, I first came, I, I couldn't believe it. I, I didn't believe it. You know, where's, where's, where's the hidden conflicts that are going on out the back or when nobody's looking or, you know, where's, where's the, the gossiping and the bitching, you know, when you leave the room? It's, I, I couldn't believe it because I, I had never experienced it before. And so it took me a while to get used to it. But I knew there was something here, so I kept showing up. And to discover that this educational package, and four mainstays, this algorithm, was guaranteed to deliver the result of increasing obviousness of open intelligence, an increasing obviousness of pure beneficial potency, and then to see that happening in my own life, in my own experience, in my everyday walk through life, in all of my relationships. To be honest with you, I still find it hard to believe. But it's my experience. You know, if I stop to think about it, I have to pinch myself. Is this really happening? But I've been involved for um, six years now, and each day it gets brighter and brighter. Each day it gets more and more certain. Each day I see my beneficial potency. That doubt and that anxiety about whether this applies to me too, or maybe it applies to everybody else, but you know, they don't know what's going on for me. They don't know my data. They wouldn't be saying that if they knew my thoughts and what I'm thinking. And it's, all of that too is encompassed within this. Everything I can allow, I can be myself exactly as I am. I don't need to pretend anymore. Just being myself exactly as I am. Such a relief, and in that, such potency. Nothing to guard, nothing to defend. Total engagement with life. So it's wonderful you're all here, and it's wonderful to be with you. And you know, this is an incredible season here in Goa. Now what we're all doing here today, and what we've been doing throughout this season, and continue to do, you know, it's just so important. The importance of this also becomes more and more obvious to me every day. And I look around at the world and it's just desperate. You know, we've got to do something. And this is something that you can do. You can make a difference right now.